welcome to Rosati Music and today we are going to check out this little iRig preamp and see how the sound is. I just realized that oh yeah I have a recording studio and I have a condenser mic and oh yeah I have one of these little iRig things. They're about 40 bucks on Amazon. Uh, you can check it out in the links below in the description. I'll leave a link to it. Um, my overall impression of it, it's, it's okay. If, it's, if you're going to have like a little setup where you're not going to be switching things in and out Let's face it, there's a lot of, you know, you have an XLR output, it has phantom power built in, it runs off of 9 volt, so that will power your uh, condenser mic, and it's just, you know, it's, it's a lot to deal with, and you plug it into your phone, and you have wires hanging all over the place, but, um, and then you have to download their, their uh, app to be able to use it uh, with the video. It's not like plug and play, which is kind of a bummer, um, but I'll give it a shot, and let me know how you think it sounds. Today I'd just like to share a few status updates with you. Uh, one is uh, Bot Destroyer, which is a song that both Dusty and I are working on. It's a song of ours that we're pretty proud of. We put a lot of work into it, um, a lot of hours, and a lot of thought too, actually. So I'm really stoked with how the song came out. I can't wait to hear it mixed. We sent it out for mix um, about a week ago, and we should have it by the end of next week. So once I obtain the mix, usually I'll review it with Dusty before moving forward. Um, and putting it out for distribution with uh, my aggregator, which I use CD Baby for that service. So that's where you have a where you can upload your music and you, know, you post it for sale, give credit to the right people, um, identify who your publishers are. Uh, both Dusty and I have our own publishing, which is fantastic. Uh, they're the ones who collect royalties on, uh, for us. Um, we both use ASCAP for that. And um, it's quite the process, but in the end, you know, a song takes a little bit of money, uh, not as much money as it did in the past, but it still takes money to be able to, you know, put the time in, record if there's any studio time, and then mixing, mastering, plus you add in the cost of uploading to your aggregator, um, it, it adds up. So it could be like, you know, anywhere from a 200 to $300, especially if you have artwork like we have for the shirt that I'm about to show you. I can't wait to show you that shirt. And by the way, we went through two revisions of the shirt, and the, the second one, we nailed it on the head. I'm so stoked with how soft it is, how good it looks, and I can't wait to share it with you. Um, please be sure to check out the link to our Teespring store. Right now, we don't have enough subscribers to have, like, I think you need a 1,000 subscribers to be able to link the store to your YouTube channel. <laughs> I've got a long way to go, but um, my game is basically, I don't really need... Uh, the crazy amount of subscribers per se, but what I am looking for is getting my music into people's hands for their YouTube channels. They, you know, being able to sync my music up with their videos. Like if you check out Dan's vlog in his episode of his first day uh, on the job with his trucking company, I mean, not about his first day, but one of his first days, um, you can check out, uh, he put a video of Rosati on his channel playing, and I was just like so stoked with that because it gives me a lot of exposure and. Um, I'm willing to work with any YouTube creator to have my music in the background. Um, not everything I do is heavy and rock. Some of it's, I've done some pop things with some pop singers. Um, so I'm just trying to get into that business and get into the back end of the synchronization licensing aspects. Uh, without further ado, I'd like to show you this new shirt. Check it out. I just got the Rosati store set up and running with uh, Teespring. And look at this bad boy. This is the Rosati Bot Destroyer uh, shirt that we have that we offer. Super stoked! We actually went through two versions of this shirt. Um, hope you can see that pretty well. Um, we actually made a few uh, little tweaks to it. One was the ink on the Rosati was like for this red color was more faded on the previous shirt. The previous shirt we had was heavier. This is more of like a charcoal gray with like like almost like a texture in it and it's super soft and just beautiful. A um, couple other things we did, we changed the featuring Dustin Smith to make it more consistent and it stands out. And then we changed the color of Bot Destroyer to, mat to match the mask. And I thank my wife for doing that, she's fantastic. And the artist that put this together, he goes by Dave from Italy, Mega Dave actually. He's the guy who drew this up for me after I gave him kind of my concept of what we were looking for. Man, this thing is beautiful. I, I'm just so happy. Um, you can check out our store, link in the description below. Uh, it'll bring you to the Teespring store and we have merchandise there to include the shirt, 
We're working on another shirt and some coffee mugs and some other merchandise items. Second order of business I want to show you is a PlayStation game, PlayStation 1 game. I don't even have the system anymore. I was going through my disc collection and came across this game called War Games. It's a great game. It's like an overhead view and it's two player, multiplayer on screen, overhead kind of shooting things with tanks and stuff. Really fun game. And uh, back in the day, it was great. Um, so I took the CD and I threw it in my CD player behind me and I was blown away with actually how good the backing track music is uh, for this game. There's no mention of who wrote the music. Uh, there's no in the sleeve. I was trying to find who did it. And I, I find myself playing this disc a lot lately. It kind of relaxes me and uh, has like very kind of uh, movie kind of music to it and symphon symphonic a little bit, uh, a little suspense. Uh, we'll check that out real quick. I just thought I'd share that with you that I'm almost now to the point where I want to buy a few more PlayStation 1 games um, just to listen to the audio tracks and throw it in my CD players. Uh, really good stuff. Uh, you can buy the games practically for nothing. And I know everything's digital now and this is kind of old school. I don't even really use this anymore to check my mixes. I m mainly check my mixes on my phone. I take it to my car um, just to make sure it translates well there. So um, yeah, let's check it out. Pretty badass. It's crystal clear. Also, it's mono signal. Which I'm not sure. I think PlayStation 1, I don't know if they, they were just mono output, but it's just totally badass. Great tracks to listen to if you're trying to concentrate or work on something artistic, like if we're doing some artwork or something like that. I love it. Let's check out some other tracks, let's see. It's like crystal clear the recording too. Amazing quality. <laughs> I love it. It's great. I think I'm gonna buy a few more of those. PlayStation 1 games for some there's a lot of cool games back in the day that I'm sure there's some other really good backing tracks So I like that kind of stuff and uh, that's kind of the business I'm in too So I like the background music stuff as to the as to anything your video production video games Just really cool. So let me know what your thoughts are about that PlayStation game I thought it was pretty cool and I'm probably gonna buy a few more just to check out the backing track music All right, everybody take care stay safe and healthy. Peace. Rosati out. This is the rise of the resistance. This is the rise.